I need to confess that I stash granny squares on purpose. Hey team, welcome to HD Designs Crochet, HDDC. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about granny squares, <laughs> about motherhood and about running a business with everything in between. If you're brand new, hi, hello, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for giving HDDC this chance and I really hope you enjoy your time here. And if you're returning, what's good, what's happening? I hope that you're tickety boo. Today, we're gonna make some granny squares. We need to add to my stash. I am granny square obsessed. I absolutely love and adore them and it's basically all that I make when I'm crocheting and then I design my patterns based off of the granny square. Whether it be a cushion, whether it be, I've got a few cushions actually, whether it's blankets, whether it is home decor, whatever it is that I design, it is 99% likely to be granny squares. And I love making them so much that sometimes I find myself starting projects purely just so I can make granny squares. So my way around that now is to make them on purpose. I stash granny squares. I feel like that's some sort of um, confession. I need to confess that I stash granny squares on purpose. <laughs> and I have two go-to hook sizes, 4.5 mil hook and a 3.5 mil hook. And 99.9% .9 of my patterns call for those hook sizes, which means that when it comes to future projects, I know that all of this stash will get used up and that they're not just gonna sit there for years on end unused. And to be fair, even if that was the case, I'm not that fussed because I just love making them. But it is nice to know these are all gonna go into something. These are all destined to become a huge granny square blanket that I am working on. And I need 891 squares, hence the magnitude of my stash. Right now it is living in a wool warehouse organza bag. My stash is 99.9% .9 double knit acrylic yarn purely because I use it in granny squares and I have so many different shades and I am stockpiling them. And today we're going to add to the stash. So grab yourself a granny square project or even grab yourself a hook and some yarn and make some granny squares. Today's plan is to sit and enjoy a little bit of quiet time as Brad has taken Teddy out for a little bit and this is the only quiet time I'm going to get this week. So I am going to watch a few things on YouTube and I also want to make sure I hydrate. I don't feel as if I've been drinking enough water recently so I'd like to drink one or two glasses in the next hour at least, at least. Let me show you my system, then we will get started. I have these organizers. They are from B&M. Apologies for the studio light reflection. It was three pound and it's got 13 sections. It's got 13 sections, which means that I can fill it up with different granny square centers. Like this one that I prepared earlier. <laughs> I batch make my centers in individual colors. They then go into this organizer or a organizer. And then I will pull from my yarn stash and add on the second round. So for example, there is at least five colors in each compartment. So I will pick out five colors from my stash this is my pink stash in this Kallax cube. I have my yellows, um, reds, sort of bits of brown, orange, and a little bit of purple in this one. 
And in this cube, I have my greens, my greys, some darker shades of brown, lots of blue. And then this one has my neutrals in it. So it's got like the creams and the off-whites. Some of the paler shades of brown are in here. And there is bits of glitter white with different color sparkles in them. So that one's got the gray thread, so it looks more gray. That one's got a white thread. And I will just pull yarn from these and then add on the second round. And it's how I batch make my squares. I find that I am much more productive and quicker because of the way in which I like to make my granny squares. It involves using a lot of yarn. So rather than having it all out at once, I will pull five colours. Say I was to pull those five colours, then I could go through the compartment here and add the second round to every single outer compartment. For most of my projects, I don't like to repeat the colourway. So by doing it like this, I don't get too confused. I'm currently working on my 4.5 mil stash and eventually I'd like to have the same for a 3.5 mil. I started to peel the label off on this one and it wasn't come off in one piece. I kind of left it. I need to do it at some point. This is my organizer for the pink and I want to fill this one up with the blues and greens and eventually I'm gonna get another organizer and fill it up with the yellows. And then I might put in some neutrals in and amongst each organizer. I don't think I'm gonna need one specifically for them. We'll see. I have my scissors, I have my hook. I have some yarn and I have the TV remote and I have my water. Let's just sit together, watch whatever we want to watch and work on our granny square stash. I've made one of these videos before and there was a couple of comments of like, oh, you've done so much in the time. If this vlog is like a half an hour long, please know that I've probably put like an hour's worth of time in and then I've edited out sections in between for your viewing pleasure. So please don't compare how much I've made to how much you've made. Just enjoy the time. I did start making some squares whilst Teddy was playing earlier. So I have this green colour. I'm not sure, like, would you say it's sage? And I've got five. So we're going to fill the tub. And then I went with this more lime green colour. So I'm going to put those in as well. So that's my first two. Let's get to work on the next few colours. And enjoy. Let's make some granny squares. <laughs> For my centres, I always chain three and then I place, I then create a loop out of that chain three by slip stitching into the back loop of the first chain. And then I chain three again and then I place 11 treble crochet or double crochet, treble if you are UK and double if you are USA. 
and then it creates this center. Let me just finish it and I'll show you. And then to end, I slip stitch to close and then I chain one and I find that that just stops it from unraveling itself by accident. And then I pull the center piece of yarn and it looks like this. So I'll put those instructions on the screen for you in case you wanna make granny squares exactly the way I do. And I'll also link below my granny square guide because when you sign up, it gets sent to you and then you can make granny squares exactly the way I do or if you want to support the HGDC channel you can also purchase that guide and it's only 99p on my website. It's a small amount but if all 5,000 of my subscribers purchase that it would add up massively. Let's get back to it. Not that I'm basing it on time, but it took me seven minutes to make those five. So this feels very, very satisfactory when you have small snippets of time to use up. Yeah.
just lost the end. I literally just, there it is, just wound it up.
I'm pretty sure I can hear Teddy coming down the street and they are on their way home. So I just wanted to show you where I have gotten to. I have made all of these to put in my container. And as the compartments get bigger, I have decided that the colors that I like, I really like, I will make more of. So I actually made 10 of the Sparkle Midnight Navy Blue as opposed to the five of all of the others. And then I really wanted to just do a couple of granny squares at least. So I pulled out the five colors that I originally showed you and I am going to make some midnight blue granny squares. I've made one. I think I've probably got maybe five minutes before they come through the door and Teddy then takes the camera. So I'm gonna see if I can get a few made up to share, to show you. And then it will be into dinner and bath time and bedtime for our Teddy. It's been really nice to enjoy this little bit of time of making and just relaxing. I can do quite a lot of HDDC work around Teddy, around him sleeping, around him playing, but in terms of just complete time where I don't have to worry about the sound from the TV, I don't have anybody that might wake up that might need me, that is quite rare. So it's really, really nice to sit and make these granny squares with you. And I really hope that you have enjoyed this time and that you have also gotten some made. And I think this is now becoming like a regular thing for HDDC that we sit and add to our stash together. Our granny square stash. Adding to our granny square stash has become a regular thing on HDDC. In terms of things I like to watch when I am crocheting, Ah, uh, YouTube, 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 YouTube. I think they're home. Albie has started to make a move. I watch anything that I'm currently interested in. So I watch crochet and knitting vlogs. I really enjoy watching people that can sew. I love patchwork, people that make their own clothes. Other small business owners is a huge one for me, whether they be graphic designers or have physical items, stationery, anything like that. Small business, creative owners. I love watching homesteading. I love watching self builds, tiny builds, like Grand Designs, George Clark, Small Spaces, Amazing Spaces. I really like watching van life and alternative living. And I add things to my watch later. And then when I have moments like this, just let it play through and it's bliss. So today I watched a little bit of Livination, I watched a bus conversion and then I watched a little bit on building on your own land. So I'm actually going to say bye now because Ted, uh, Albie is very interested in the door which means they are about to come back I'd like to put a bit of this yarn away before Teddy comes barreling through the door. So I made 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 centres and three granny squares with you today. I made 20, 10 centres earlier on in the day before I started. 1 hour 17 I've been recording and obviously i'm going to have edited loads of this out and it won't have included moving the light moving the tripod changing the positioning um and searching on there for the things i want to watch so i am very impressed and i did one two three four five six seven is that right one two three four five six yeah seven center colors and I've done nine in total today. Oh, they're back. Uh-oh, I have yarn everywhere. It's okay, you can come in. Hi. Hey. Whack your head. Hey.
on YouTube. Did you? Oh, no, it's a video.